another must masterpiece we have uh, in this video I'm gonna show you how to maneuver your pieces how important it is to find the best squares for your pieces and uh, how you're gonna have an immediately advantage after you your pieces got to the best squares for them okay so the, the white is Nimzovic and the black is Rubenstein two really really famous players okay, okay. so we, we're gonna skip uh, some maybe first 15 moves or something until we come to the to the critical position <clears throat> Okay, so let me just comment this. This is the best move, and that's why I don't like this a little, a little, a little, uh, really this set setup because already white, uh, black can win this bishop, and these pawns kind of look odd. But okay, that's some kind of weird opening that I don't know of. Okay, so white has nice pieces here, doubling it a little bit, and now this is the key position. So here in this position, uh, white is a little bit better because he he has a lead in development, and also his pieces is are a little bit better. This bishop is not developed but how should he continue how should uh, white increase his advantage and uh, in these kind of closed positions you should always uh, if you don't have an immediate plan try to improve your pieces so the best piece white piece is this bishop it is ideally uh, placed on this diagonal uh, maybe this bishop is gonna help uh, some checkmating ideas in the future because it is uh, black cannot go here with the king this rook is good this rook is not bad it can go here this queen has some squares this bishop is not ideal but it is protecting this pawn and also Maybe stopping the knight from uh, to go from going here to harass this strong bishop, and we we would like to to exchange this bishop because it is weaker than this knight. So the the bad the worst piece is obviously this knight. This knight can go here, but there it's not doing anything. So. One of the best advices I can give you uh, when you when you are trying to improve your pieces is to look at the square where you would like to put that piece. So this knight probably you would like to put it maybe here, maybe here, here, and uh, then when you pick the square, try to. Uh, go back from that square for example in this game actually white put the knight here and then you go back and try to see how that knight can come to that square so from if knight is here you can go here and then from this square you can go here and then from this square you can go here so that's why the knight should go here that that what Nimzovic played and he began this uh, one of the most beautiful and useful manu knight maneuver in the history of chess so bishop d7 developing, developing a piece knight f2 we are following our plan of activating the knight rook a to e8 and now uh, rook f to e1 
of course we want to keep control of the open file takes takes and now this knight comes back it is trying to get back uh, to, to maneuver itself also and also this bishop is gonna come here to pressurize on this diagonal knight is going to its dream square bishop c6 and now queen goes to this this aggressive square queen h5 g6 queen goes back and now king g7 <clears throat> and here white played a really nice move that is attacking this pawn but also he recognizes that this bishop is really doing a fine job protecting that square and we would like to put a rook there so white is trying to distract this bishop a little bit from this square and the first step is to attack the pawn so it has to defend it and then he played b4 attacking that bishop and now bishop is completely this bishop is completely out of the game it's not protecting this point anymore and then now we have uh, advantage we can now start start operating on that file so here Nimzovic made uh, only bad bad move he could have uh, could have won on the spot actually here with queen e1 which is the best move he's threatening this move and then that would be pretty much game over instead he played queen h4 which is not a bad move but uh, queen e1 would, would win on the spot okay rook e8 logical move and now e5 this is also a nice move uh, uh, just putting the rook there, there in the center protected but by its own pawn and, and it's attacking uh, in in all four directions equally almost equally the point is of course if, if black took here and then took maybe this pawn then you see this completely inactive piece is going to actually give a checkmate here that's kind of ironic but that's why uh, Akiba Rubenstein of course saw that did not take that piece instead he played uh, knight of seven and now this knight is really strong defending a lot of things here and Nimzovic decided to remove it and now the knight is finally finally came to the the best square for it on the table on the board and as soon as this knight arri arrived uh, at the beautiful that beautiful square the the game is pretty much over and you will see why okay Nimzovic took there and then queen e1 and now queen is unopposed these pieces are really not that active this knight is really active and now queen is taking advantage of inactivity of black pieces and going straight to the heart of the position on this really active diagonal <clears throat> bishop c6 queen e7 and now one more beautiful move that also has to do with uh, activating your pieces and maneuvering and that is b5 so this bishop his ideal square would be e5 and that would be a checkmate and that's why we we are activating it here if he if uh, black took here we can go for this and then uh, white can pretty much do uh, black can 
cannot do anything pretty much in this position. That's why he decided to sacrifice that piece, but after these exchanges, it is just a matter of technique. Protecting everything here, activating pieces, and now you see these two pieces are not, not allowing black to black king to get active h4 and now also this move making uh, one more weakness in the black territory and then uh, the black cannot uh, that weakness is of course this pawn and black cannot defend all of it and after this move Kiber Rubinstein resigned because he, uh, there is uh, too many weaknesses here. He, this pawn, this pawn, this pawn, and potentially, of course, this pawn. So king can activate itself like this, for example, and that's gonna be game over. Okay, guys, I hope you learned something and enjoy this lesson. Maneuver your pieces, improve your position, and win the game. Thanks for watching.